Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some more different problem in the polar plot. Here, the problem is GH of S equal to 1 by S into S plus 1 draw the polar plot. Up to now, we discussed about the problems only poles in the poles added in the denominator for the transfer function. Here, initially, a pole at 0 will be added. Then how the polar plate plot will be varied we will discuss in this topic so first the same procedure the procedure is so the given plot convert into the frequency mode that is 1 by j omega this is j omega plus 1 okay so what is the magnitude first you find out the magnitude here the magnitude equal so j omega means omega and this magnitude equal to omega square plus 1 so this is the magnitude and what is the phase here so you should find out the phase phase is tan inverse of omega tan inverse of omega by 0 this phase is tan inverse of omega by 0 minus and minus tan inverse of omega by 1 omega by 1 so you should modify it phase is tan inverse of omega 0 means infinite this is the infinite so this is we will get minus 5 by 2 minus tan inverse of omega so this is the magnitude so now we should take for omega equal to 0 for omega equal to 0 first substitute the frequency value is 0 then what happen so substitute the omega equal 0 0 here so substitute here this is a 0 into root 1 then what happen 1 by 0 is become the infinite and what about phase phase is this is the minus 5 by 2 so by substituting 0 value here then become the 0 you will have the minus 5 by 2 you will have the minus 5 by 2 right okay next at omega equal infinite you should find out the omega equal to infinite then magnitude equal to 1 by so 1 by infinite under root of infinite square plus 1 that means 1 by infinite is nothing but the 0 what about phase phase is here minus 5 by 2 and here minus tan inverse of again infinite infinite means what will give minus 5 by 2 and the minus 5 by 2 then we will get the phase value is the minus 5 okay here phase is the minus 5 by 2 here phase is the minus 5 and here phase is the 5 by 2 here the magnitude is the infinite and here the magnitude is the 0 magnitude is the 0 okay we are getting these terms first so first you check whether the polar plot is valid or not so how we will check the polar plot is valid magnitude at omega equal to 0 compare with magnitude at omega equal to infinite what is the magnitude at omega equal 0 magnitude at omega equal 0 is we will have the infinite and magnitude at omega equal infinite we have the 0 so it is so the first part is completed here we will get the polar plot is valid here we will get the polar plot is valid so what is next step so first you should find out the starting direction starting direction how we will find out the starting direction starting sorry first you should find out the ending direction first so ending direction any direction 0 minus so pole pole at 0 minus sorry frequency equal to 0 and the frequency equal infinite so what is the phase frequency equal 0 phase is we have frequency equal 0 minus 5 by 2 so we have minus 5 by 2 and 
frequency equal infinite we have minus 5 and this is the we have the minus 5 so finally what we get here this is we will get the plus 5 by 2 whenever this is the plus the ending direction is the clockwise direction we will, we will get the direction is the clockwise direction next what is the next point we should find out the starting direction we should find out the starting direction how we'll find out the starting direction so which is nearer to which is nearer to which is nearer to the which pole uh, so finite pole finite pole or zero nearer to the imaginary axis but look at here we have transfer function is 1 by s into s plus 1 actually here we have a pole at origin pole at origin it is nearer to that's why it is very nearer to imaginary axis only so what is the problem here it is not possible to it is not a finite pole actually it is a zero it is not possible to find starting direction find the starting direction so here and we can tell one thing one thing is the remaining is only we have pole so leave this and remaining is pole so that's why the remaining is pole uh, remaining is pole so that's why we can assume poles are poles remaining as pole so it has clockwise direction so you should prefer the clockwise direction I assume you should prefer and assume it the clockwise direction understand so by using that concept we will go for it we will go for it okay right so now we will go for draw the polar plot so before that just write uh, at omega equal 0 at omega equal to 0 what is magnitude magnitude is infinite and it minus 5 by 2 second at omega equal to infinite the magnitude is the 0 and the angle is the minus 180 the angle is a minus 180 and you should know exactly it is the clockwise direction clockwise direction but here the problem is we don't know but we assume it is also clockwise direction clockwise direction okay so now we will we will go for draw the polar plot so look at here so here the polar plot origin and this is the ending one next this is the polar plot and this is the polar plot okay so here next here we have you know that this is the 0 this is minus 5 by 2 and this is the minus 5 this is the minus 3 5 by 2 yes what is the starting and starting it is infinite we don't know where it but it start from the minus 5 by 2 so minus 5 by 2 means maybe this side or this side particularly in order to get the clockwise direction if you take here it should so it should go for like that but leave that go for ending direction first what is ending direction oh, at omega equal infinite at omega equal infinite it is ending direction is confidently clockwise direction okay confidently clockwise direction that means it is ending at infinite so change the color first so change the color that means this is the zero and it is at the omega equal infinite okay and the direction is also a clockwise direction means so it is ending and with the clockwise direction ending with the clockwise direction like this okay but here look at it will start from infinite and the direction is 5 by 2 so I will write like this I will write like this so direction is clockwise so maybe the direction is the clockwise and 
it come from the infinite angle of 5 by 2 so I will take like this understand so it will it will come from we don't know the magnitude magnitude is infinite so but at that infinite the frequency is the zero frequency here magnitude is zero at that frequency is the infinite so it has infinite magnitude coming from the minus 5 by 2 direction and it will come whenever it reaches the ending part ending part it is the clockwise direction it will end at the minus 180 degrees and at the minus 180 degrees okay so here we can write we can modify simply like this the polar plot is like this we can write we can draw the polar plot in this form polar plot is in this form right so this is the real and this is the imaginary is the real and imaginary so polar plot is completely varied okay so whenever extra pole is added that time you should maintain this you should maintain this thing you should maintain this thing okay so this is for so this is for whenever a a pole is added at the origin pole is added at the origin automatically polar plot is polar plot direction will be varies like this okay so this is one of the important model i hope all of you understand this session so in this session you have to mind it starting direction it is not we don't have any direction but what is remaining part remaining part is a pole then you should assume as a clockwise direction okay you should take it as a clockwise direction I hope all of you understand this session. Thank you.